and where there's points on the x-axis, you, which are negative 1 and 3, so x equals negative 1, and then x2 equals 3. Okay, and in my second problem, what we're going to do is we're going to take the formula x equals negative b times uh, plus or minus the square root of b squared uh, minus 4ac all of it over 2a. This is a. B, C. What you're going to do is negative 2 plus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 4 and over 2 times 3. I'm going to re-put that into the calculator. Uh, one solution comes out to be negative 1 plus square root of 13 over 3. Another one ends up being 1 plus square root 13 over 3. Everything is negative. 5. And then we're going to come over here and do x minus 1 equals 0 and then we'll add the 1 and then add the 1 here and this one will cancel out and it will be x equals 1 and so those are the our solutions which get what we have on the graph. And right here, we're going to, I guess, solve for intercept form. And it is negative 1 and positive 3. So it'll be x plus 1 and x minus 3. So here we're going to solve and find solutions. So it would be x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. Then we're going to solve them. And it'll be x, I mean, minus 1 and minus 1. And x would equal negative 1. And this one. x would equal positive 3. Three and that's what our graph says. All right, I'm about to find the solutions to this vertex form equation. First, you would start off by setting the equation equal to zero. So it's gonna be like that, and then and then you're gonna want to get x by by itself. So you're gonna have to cancel some of the the, the numbers out. Be plus four. Three x plus. Would be x squared. So you have three x. This problem. This is this problem. Three x. All right, and then right here, you want to get the x by itself, but you're gonna have to get rid of the the uh, the square. So you're gonna have to square root it. And the square root of four equals two. And then you end up getting x plus 8 by itself and this is going to be a positive negative because you square rooted it so and then you just 
subtract the 8 because it's on the other side. You gotta get x by itself. So minus 8, and then x is gonna equal negative 10. Or if it's um, if it's a positive 2, then it's gonna equal x equals negative 6. And those are the two solutions to this one. Okay, I'm gonna do. Oh. All right, just do yours like this. Reset form. Okay. Oh no, it's quadratic, 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 quadratic. The standard quadratic form. Okay, first, well, we have to do the little box. Because it never made contact with anything down here, and it really kind of confused me. So I didn't know how I would solve this, and I don't really know what to do with the solution with the equation either. So I really don't know what to do here. Anyways, there was that's it. Goodbye.